1043. Is that morning? Today is October 1st, which is mine and Kaylee's wedding anniversary. It's actually our five year wedding anniversary, which is really cool. October 1st is probably like my favorite day out of the year, followed very closely by Christmas. I love October 1st, it's awesome, it's just such a good day. It's just kind of one of those days where me and Kaylee can just be like, yay, good, like, good for us. Like, this is exciting. I know it doesn't sound very enthused, I haven't had my coffee yet, I'm sorry. But no, I am actually really excited, so is Kaylee. Before the wedding anniversary festivity activities begin, I got a couple things I gotta do really quick. Today starts uh, vacation. Today is day one of vacation. Yay, very excited about that. But I didn't edit yesterday's vlog last night like I typically do because I knew I was going to be off work and I was gonna be home today. So I said, I'll just get up and edit it in the morning. So that's what I've gotta do now. And then once I get done editing it, I need to run it to Dro to upload because it'll upload quicker there. I'm not sure what's happening after that, but yeah, should be a party. Those, those are pretty sick. Those are Weird. some. Those are pretty. <laughs> this is my first time at Dro this week. This is the first time at Dro since Thursday of last week, I think. Yeah, I think it was Thursday. I went and I, went, I came here and got the morning brekkie for the first time. Did you miss me this week? To yeah, be honest. I you as well. Did you? Sure. A little bit. A little bit. So I'm uh, I'm working on my anniversary date extravaganza plans. Just had a serious freak out moment. So Kaylee's been saying she wants to go to this sushi place over in Ruston. She's been kind of mentioning and hinting towards that for a while. And so my plans were to make a reservation there for us to go eat tonight. I waited until kind of the last minute, my fault, just pulled it up and they are apparently takeout only. I did find a place. Uh, it's a local steak place that a lot of people go to. Um, so made a reservation. Crisis averted. Yay! It's gonna be. It's gonna be good. I hope she's excited. I really am. If she's not excited, I'm gonna have to do this whole thing over in like a couple days and try to like really make it up for her. Headed home now. I'm gonna try to get that run in when I get home. It's too. F oh. Those are uh, those are my headphones. Oh, well, they're definitely broken now. I'm gonna try to get that run in, probably without listening to music if I had to guess. Then it's daytime. How was your run? Wonderful. Wonderful. I just realized I didn't shoot any footage for like 30 minutes. <sighs> Not sure how far I'm gonna go today. Yesterday was a rest day, so I'm kinda trying to get back into it. I'm really struggling on today's run. Every time I take like a break or a rest day, it's like the day after murders me. For some reason, you wouldn't think like you know, a 24 hour period would make that much of a difference, but it does. <sighs> Three point, I think it was like four miles something like that. It's a relatively short run in comparison to the last like two runs that I've done. Still felt good. Slow. Today was slow. I was really on the struggle bus with today's run for some reason. I, it's always that, again, it's always that kind of like, I take a break, I take a day, and then the next day when I start running again, it's just like, God, so miserable. Also, I'm definitely getting a blister on my right foot, and I'm pretty sure I'm getting blisters on my left foot as well. It's because of these shoes. I've got to update the running shoes 
soon, like next week. Hey babe, uh, not not you, the audience. This is for Kaylee, not for. If you, honestly, if you want to skip past this part, you you can, but uh, this part's for Kaylee. So right now, you just went to the bedroom to go work on. I think a post that you were making for Instagram. I think you're frustrated at me because I somewhat forced you out of the living room. I wanted to force you out of the living room because I wanted to be able to film this and put it in the vlog and you not hear it beforehand. I wanted it to be something that totally surprised you. That's also um, that's also why I have MASH playing in the background. It just kind of helps cover my voice a little bit. Anyways, hey babe, uh, happy five year anniversary. I, honestly, I couldn't really think of anything overly creative and clever to do for this video. I, I wished, I could have thought of something just like spectacular. I used my really spectacular idea for your birthday a couple years ago, but I just wanted to say happy five year anniversary. The last five years have, have been unreal. They've been great. There's been a lot of ups and there's been a lot of downs, but the ups so greatly outweighed the downs, it's it's not even measurable. Just a couple minutes ago, you and I were here in the living room and we were talking about some of our memories from our wedding day and I was sharing with you some of the memories that I remember from the days after our, our wedding. We went to Dallas for our honeymoon, which wasn't an incredibly expensive or extravagant trip, but it, for some reason, is one of the most memorable trips we've ever taken. I mean, to this day, you and I eat chocolate-covered strawberries on our anniversary. It's just what we do. And even sometimes when, when it's not our anniversary, if we go stay at that hotel that we stayed at in Dallas when we went on our honeymoon, if we ever go stay at that hotel, you always make it a point to get strawberries and sparkling cider because that's what we had on our honeymoon. And for some reason, that's just a memory that's, that's really, it's really grounded in our relationship. The last five years of marriage, the last six years of being together, being, being a couple, but the last five years of marriage have been unlike anything that, that I could ever describe. I hope when you see this, it makes you smile. I hope it makes you laugh. I'm sorry it came a day late, but that's just kind of how the vlogs work. You know, they're shot a day in advance and then they go up a day late. Um, so by the time you're seeing this, it's the second, but just know that, you know, I, I didn't forget. I woke up this morning and it was the first thing on my mind. So I'm, Happy anniversary, baby. Five years is an incredible, it's an incredible milestone, and I'm really excited. I'm sorry we didn't get to go to New York uh, for our anniversary like we wanted to. I'm sorry we didn't get to do some of the things that we really wanted to, but in the year 2020, a lot of things have been forfeited, and I think we both understand that. Here's to, uh, here's to five more. We go on our date in like an hour and some change, and I'm, very excited. I'm super, super excited about our date, so. All right. Back to my rolling out my muscles. Just back to, I, I don't even know what to say. Back to your regularly scheduled programming. 5.53, we've got a, our reservation is for 6.45, but the restaurant's just down the street. Um, Kaylee, There's an easier way to do that, baby. As I was saying, Kaylee wants to take a family portrait with the kitties. It's anyone's guess how the, the kitty portion of this is gonna go. Alice, I'm not remotely concerned about. It's, it's, it's more June that I'm concerned about. Alrighty, photos are over. Maybe not. <laughs> Photo of our Wait, waist. our faces, <laughs> hang on. I, t I said photos were over and she still hit the button on the thing to take more. We were just seated at our restaurant. I never get to order like a really nice steak at restaurants just because, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm a penny pincher when it comes to like food. I don't, I'm not really big on like spending lots of money on food, uh, but it's our anniversary, so we're going for it this time. What are you getting? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for broke on this one. Go for broke. I'm just kidding. Please stop singing. It hurts. Sorry. 
of timing. You have to like really you sell. Perfect, you have to really, right, you have to really photo. sell that it's gonna be a strong photo, and then at the very last second, just something. Like Clear. Have you been drinking tonight? We get clear. License and registration. I don't know, officer. Super. Mask. Mask up, Louisiana. Uh, this is the biggest steak I've ever seen in my entire life. Look at this. Look how huge this steak is. It's next to a piece of next to a piece of garlic toast for comparison. Kaylee got shrimp. Thank you. Fantastic. Kaylee got shrimp and fries and toast. I got a humongo steak and fries and toast. We're back from our date. It was fantastic. Uh, I did not eat all the steak. So I brought a significant portion of it home. We left from the restaurant, went and got smoothies. Kaylee got free smoothie because the girl at the window liked us, I'm guessing. Now we're home. I'm about to put the camera. Piggyback. I'm about to put the camera down. No, don't get on my back. Don't get on my back. I'm about to put the camera down. No. That hurt really bad. Let me try again. No. <laughs> Squat a little mm -mm. so I can. Mm -mm. I think you have steak in what was that? Pure chaos right now. <laughs> like, Kaylee wants a piggyback ride. June's breaking stuff. Alright, I'm gonna call it a night. Thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. All those fun things. Bye. Have a fantastic remainder of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow at 4pm. See you, I'll bye. see you there.